In today's user interface, things have shifted uh, more greatly to where sometimes people will use things like a mouse or a keyboard to interact with it, but if they have a mobile device like a tablet or a phone, often they're going to use their fingers or their hands to interact with these devices. And one of the things that we've done with, with OMI, or Operations Management Interface, was to make it agnostic so that when you build these systems, automatically they can handle mouse or keyboard. They can change their layout so that if I'm outputting it on a phone, I don't get the same layout that's in the control room. Because I have less space, I have less real estate that I can deal with. And so with, with OMI, it's very natural for people to interact with it from any device, and they don't have to code those things in. It's just part of the overall product that delivers those experiences. One of the things that with Operations Management Interface, we targeted to be able to deliver a very custom experience, which was intended to be the experience on the phone, and not the same experience that you have on a tablet, and not the same experience that you would have in a control room, but not also cost you the time and, and engineering to be able to design them over and over again. People don't have that in their expenses. They don't have it in their budget to design for five different targets. So what we've done with Operations Management Interface is give them the platform that they can design all their standards and then they can consume those standards and consume that data model into those different experiences so that they'll automatically have a phone experience which is tailored for the phone, an experience for a tablet which is tailored for tablet interface and one that's for the control room and wherever they have those experiences that they're intended. But the key thing is that they don't have to engineer them over and over again. They build, they test, they validate their standard, and those things will then be able to be delivered to any device. What we've done with regards to operations management interface is provide something that's uh, tailored for use across an entire enterprise. It's very standards based. So ultimately, we, we find that people want to ensure that if I've got 10, 15, 20, 30, 100 systems working inside of my overall operation, but I can have a consistency so that if I have someone I've trained him in position A, when I move him over to position B, he doesn't have to be retrained. A lot of the things are similar. His experiences, how he navigates, how he interacts, how he understands the status of the system, they're all similar and they're all consistent as part of that approach. With operations management interface, our expectation is that our customers will take a different approach to operating the process. Today, they're focused on commonly will be on keeping the processes running. But as you go into the future, in terms of managing the business in real time, not just managing the process, the questions that they'll ask themselves is that, is it good to run now? Is it profitable? Do I make more money? Can I meet the commitments to my customers? They're going to be asking themselves more about how they operate their business and less about how just how they operate their process. And now, as we're making our future shifts into operations management interface, it's more than just people interacting with that controller or that process, often those data sources may be coming from cloud or other software systems and you're starting to make holistic decisions about the overall operation and not just the state of that process. With Operations Management Interface, we provide our customers the tools to be able to meet the challenges that they have with their IT and OT convergence and that affecting disruption inside of their own processes and their industries.